Hello, hello. Welcome. And, uh, yes, welcome. This is Jaws. Actually, it is a dogfish. It's still a shark, but it is not Jaws. And so, I am going to do a short video today on the dissection of a dogfish for class or for anybody who wants to watch. And so let me get this camera kind of set. All right. Well, here we are. As you can see, this guy is about uh, head to tail, almost two feet, almost two feet in length. The the dogfish shark. Uh, let's let, we're going to look at a couple external things. The fins here on the sides, these are the pectoral fins used for, for swimming uh, trajectory, like, a, like the wings of an airplane, they're going to be similar in shape. It also has another set of fins back here, a little bit harder to see. These are the pelvic fins, one on each side. So you've got two sets there. Then you've got on the top here a dorsal fin and another dorsal fin. The characteristic, you know, sharp triangle out of the water. So you've got this one and this one. Uh, this one actually has little spikies on it. It's it. I don't. It's hard to tell, but they're actually poisonous if you were to to somehow get your finger poked. Anyway, yes. And so, and then there's actually the the caudal fin here at the back. All right, it's hard to see, but there are five gill slits right here on the other side as well, along with the eyes, the good old nose, the rostrum. All right, the uh, underneath here, you can see there's there's two holes here. There's actually actually four, and those are going to be. Uh, I guess the nostrils is what we could call them, the nares. And so they allow the, the smell. The water will go through the smaller of the two openings and then come out the back and it flows over a, a membrane. And what happens is that's the olfactory gland like our nose. And so the shark will be able to detect uh, blood or whatever else in the, the water. Behind the eye here, there is a small hole and that is called a spiracle. There are others, one on each side. It's, uh, yeah, it's hard to see because the skin's kind of covered. But these uh, would allow the fish to to breathe uh, even if its mouth is not open. So the mouth is closed, water would still flow in, it would flow over the gills and then out again the gills we know for fish they take the oxygen out of the water to breathe. The fish would also be able to open its mouth, which looks like he's frowning. It's hard to see on the camera, but there are a number of little teeth. Again, it's hard to see. But uh, yeah, so just like a big shark, uh, this one would hurt, you know, if you, if you actually got bit by it. I am going to attempt to jump right in and uh, we're going to cut on the ventral side, so right approximately. Now there is an incision that has been started here, and I think that that was used for the to inject the dyes to be able to see some of the things. So I'm going to continue with that incision um, both posterior, posteriorly and anteriorly. Yeah, I can say those words. That's kind of goofy. Come on now. He's stiff. So it's hard to kind of get a good... It's very plasticky, like like hard rubber almost. A little bit of sandpaper texture, kind of not, not smooth as it might look, but it is a little bit on the rough side. So I did purchased some new scalpels and so 
that definitely is a good thing if you're trying to dissect, if you've got nice sharp tools to be able to, to cut through the skin. Okay, now I'm up to the uh, to kind of the throat area. A couple lateral incisions here. It doesn't smell too bad. It doesn't smell good. but it, it doesn't smell too bad. There's a little bit of a uh, cartilage, there we go. Cartilage. Kind of, kind of being a little bit of preventative from, from all right. We're gonna see some organs here very soon. Uh, shark anatomy is is not a whole lot different from humans as far as some of the major organs and internal organs. So so that's part of why these little guys are, are useful in education so that we can learn about that. I should have stopped the video, done this and then come back. But that's all right. It's an education. Yeah, this this the skin part. This would be the the flesh part that we that we would eat if we were to do so. And in in some countries, this uh, this would definitely be something that would be caught and eaten. Okay. First of all, I want to to note. Now you see, see the red in here? That's going to be the gills. That's right, right underneath the gill slits. And that is going to, those are going to be very fleshy, uh, feathery-like. Again, so that maximum surface area so that the water will come in and flow over all of those gills and the oxygen could be, could be absorbed. Again, not entirely not too different from from what we are and how we do these things. I'm going to get a couple of pins here and see if I can't uh, slow this guy down. There we go. Always wear gloves. I guess it wouldn't hurt to wear safety goggles too just so that if there are, is some splatter or that kind of thing, you don't get preservatives and things. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So you're going to notice right here these big, uh, wow, brownish, whatever they are. It's going to be liver, like a tan brown. Very, very big parts of this liver here. And how they, they almost cover the entire thing. All right, so these are the, the livers here. I'm just kind of peeling these back. Now you've got a kind of a, a little mass in here of, of various things. One might guess what they are. So yes, the liver. It's got three lobes. Two of these go the whole way. The third lobe is smaller and it contains the gallbladder which is green, and I am a, well, greenish. Yeah, I, I, it, it's back here. It's hard to, hard to see. So now you think, oh, the stomach, that should be a big thing, right? Well, the esophagus, you know, for, uh, for illustration's sake, Let's take this liver out so that we can see a little bit better. That's a big liver. Liver's gross. 
Liver is gross. But anyway. All right. All right. Getting into getting into things here. All right. Do you see? Do you see what I see? Probably not. Probably not. This little guy right here. This is the heart of the shark. Shark heart. Shark heart. And it is, it is sort of uh, definitely darkish in color. Yep, you've got three kind of distinct uh, parts, parts to it. All right. Two, uh, two chambers. It's got an atrium and a ventricle. Ours has four, uh, two, a two ventricles, two atriums. The, the ventricle is the main part, and it pumps the blood through uh, to the gills and then to the body. The atrium is thin. Uh, it's a reservoir of the heart that pumps blood into the ventricle. And it has two lateral... So the little brown part on the side, the darker of the two sides, that is the, the um, atrium. This central part in here is the ventricle. So as you can see, oh, it's probably the size of a, oh, it's not very big. Um, but anyway, but that's, that's the heart. So it's located right there. The esophagus, mouth to the, uh, to the stomach. It's short and wide, uh, and that allows large things. The stomach is kind of J-shaped, like, you know, a little bit like ours might be. Kind of right in here, this part. It's it's flat. It's, like, squishy. So there's not going to be anything in it. This dark part at the end is the uh, spleen. Okay? And so stomach, spleen, you've got the liver here. These little guys back here, Ooh, what are those guys? Those guys, I'm checking my guide here. Um, well, we'll get to this. This part right here, it's, this is the intestine, uh, the spiral intestine, is what it's called. Uh, and it has, has rings on it, which I don't know if you can see by the camera, but there's, there's definitely rings here. Uh, again, you got the idea, extensive artwork of veins and arteries. Um, if we cut that part open, we'd be able to see the spiral, the spiral nature of it. Well, I don't know if you can see it. Plus, there's junk in here. So, I'm not even going to bother but anyway that's that's the intestine so you can see the, the liver here how big it is the intestine is fairly large then you've got again this small little heart up here so it's I guess we have much more intestine than we do heart as far as size goes uh, yeah so it's again that's where the similarities come into to play here so I am going to uh, stop there for now. I am going to make another short video uh, that will uh, hopefully encompass the brain. That's the plan. But uh, again, uh, it's just it's just kind of kind of cool. It's gross a little bit, but it's it's cool to see how organs in a shark sort of mirror a little bit the way we are and the way our organs are situated, and so. Hopefully, um, I don't want to touch my, my screen, but hopefully you, you have a better idea as to what that's all about. Uh, besides, you know, it's just fun to watch sharks. Okay, well, until next time, see you later.